Welcome back, Film Force fans, to another Wilshire's Review, an honest, in-depth review of the latest films. Hey everyone, welcome to Wilshire's Review of, you guessed it, not James Bond, Johnny English Strikes Back. I'm of course your host, John Wilshire. So let's review the movie. This is obviously the third instalment in the Johnny English franchise, and they've taken place quite a big gap. This is probably just Ron Atkinson needing a paycheck. I don't want to say that, I like the guy, but did this film really need to be made? It stars Rowan Ek- it stars Rowan Atkinson as it stars Rowan Atkinson obviously as John English, the his fifth best character he has played, behind Mr. Bean, Black Adder, the guy from Scooby Doo, Zazu in Lion King. Yeah, that sounds about right. And it's I, I had a few laughs. Okay, it brought back Ben Miller playing Bob from the first film. It just to me felt like a rehash though of the first and second film combined. You know, eight <clears throat> all other agents have identities have been revealed. Sounds a bit like the first one. All other agents were killed. They need to bring someone back. They bring him back. They you know he is useless, he gets te- the technology that he doesn't understand and he's now using all old technology. He uses a freaking payphone in this film. It does, this film does make fun of the whole new fangled technology and everything. With virtual reality, iPhones, smartphones, hybrid cars and everything and then harkens back to the older days of you know as much. They're like, it uses petrol, it's an antique. There's some comedy in that and they could have gone a lot more I think in that. but. Then it was, he's too old for this shit, you know? There were some funny scenes in it, okay? And funny scenes created by setup that worked because it was obvious, you knew it was going to happen. Whereas these other scenes that are just ended up being like a Mr. Bean sketch. But this is meant to be a parody of James Bond, not Mr. Bean, okay? It just didn't work. Why do a scene in a restaurant where he's being a useless waiter? It just was too similar to a Mr. Bean comedy. That, I had to walk out of that scene. I was like, what is this? What am I paying to watch? What am I watching? This film was funny at points, but all in all, it doesn't live up to the original Johnny. It had some laugh out moments. It was inventive with where he was now being a teacher, a geography teacher, but he was teaching them all about spies. And in some ways, I would have liked to see a whole whole film on that, him being a geography teacher, but actually teaching the kids spy stuff. The kids were loving it, him teaching them camera love and everything, and the school had no idea. That was genius. They should have done that. I'm sorry. I want to see spin off TV series. Just a few moments they did in the classroom at the start and the beginning was brilliant, but the rest of it was mediocre. There was a great scene with him dancing to modern songs. The, I'm, I admire Ron Atkins for doing that. The, his movements were perfectly timed to the beat. And oh, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. But apart from that, there was no chemistry between him and his romance. Person who wasn't romance. The funny one bit was the prime minister played by. Uh, the funny thing, the prime minister seemed to be like a comedy take on Theresa May, referencing a few things. Sometimes you're stuck with something that you don't, you didn't have any choice with. And now you've got to do the plan, even though you don't like the plan. It was, in some ways, I thought, is this commentator's bit of the way of Brexit? That bit was funny. But overall, this film didn't need to be made. I would have watched this on DVD. I shouldn't have paid to go see it. I give it a four out of ten. So that is my view of Johnny English Strikes Back. What do you think of this film? Are you even going to go see it? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do hit that like button or head down to the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest videos. May the force be with you.